For hundreds of years, scientists have wondered why did it take so long for land plants to colonize the land? Especially considering cyanobacteria, which are seen as the precursors to plants, existed 2.7 billion years ago. The answer? the ozone layer. You see, the ozone layer is responsible for protecting us and all life on this planet from high ultraviolet radiation from the sun. It filters out the radiation, stopping us looking like this and also getting skin cancer. And according to this new paper, the research suggests that there was a battle between iodine and oxygen, effectively delaying the stabilization of the ozone. So how does it work? Well, the ozone is oxygen-3. It's a triatomic molecule. And in order for it to form, it needs to have diatomic oxygen in the atmosphere, which is oxygen-2. When high energy radiation hits oxygen-2, it will split those molecules and that can trigger a reaction to create ozone. Now, if there's enough oxygen-2 and enough radiation, it will create more ozone, which then creates a protective blanket. And that's where evidence in the new research comes in. Using a new ocean atmosphere model, they showed that there was excess amounts of iodine being released from the marine environment inorganically. And iodine is not good for the ozone. In fact, it destroys it. Very similar to the CFCs that we were releasing in the 20th century, which caused the massive hole above Antarctica. And it wasn't until 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period, where there was a reduction in the inorganic emissions of this iodine. So in conclusion, nature owes its diversification and persistence due to the ozone layer. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.